Good morning, everyone. My name is Winona. I am a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I'm the leader of Busted Knuckles. That's the adult recovery ministry at Roadhouse Biker Church, which is in San Bernardino, California. Hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. It's a little overcast outside here in Southern California. We've got some weird skies because of the fires that are going on, but it, it, it it's cooler now. You know, we don't have that 185 degrees like we were having there last week. But um, hope you guys are having a good morning. Before we get started, we are going to be in the book of Proverbs today. Always good in Proverbs. A little bit of wisdom for us today. But let's uh, open up in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you again with our grateful hearts, Father God. We're grateful for delivering us from our addictions. We're grateful for the blessings that you've given us and our families, Father. We just ask for those continued blessings for the families and, and our friends and ourselves too, Father God. Lord, we just pray that we can be vessels for you, that we can, through our actions, show the world that we are Jesus freaks, Father God. So thank you. Thank you for what you've provided for us in your son's name. Amen. Amen. So yeah, I am a grateful Jesus freak. That's for sure. That's for sure. Um, but like I said, we're in the book of Proverbs today. It's Proverbs 6, and it's verses um, 30 and 31. I mean, it kind of has to do with with our addictions. Go figure, it's recovery, huh? Okay, so let's get started. Again, it's Proverbs 6, 30 and 31. Excuses might be found for a thief who steals because he's starving. But if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. Everything in his house. Personally, myself, through the help of Jesus Christ with my Father God, my addictions did not lead me to have to lose everything in my house. But I do know folks that have lost everything because of their addictions. Now again, in recovery, people, when they hear the word recovery, they immediately think of drugs and alcohol. But you do have to remember that addictions go much further than that. Um, addictions are anything that has become, that's beyond the point of a habit, it becomes a compulsion where you have to have it, that becomes an addiction. That could be gambling, that could be internet porn, that could be just internet itself, the social media sites and stuff. Um, it could be shopping, eating. Um, there's a lot of things that become compulsions and addictions to us, and that can ruin a family that can ruin everything. So, you know, so when you do hear the word recovery, please remember that it is not just drugs and alcohol. And at one point or another, I'm sure that all of us have found that something has taken us to a point where it's a compulsion. Okay. So, um, you know, when we're in our addictions, Sometimes when we're craving whatever it is, um, you do feel like you're starving. You're clamoring for anything to fill that, that, that need, that hunger that you have. All right? And so, yeah, you might go out and steal to make sure that you have that hit, that whatever it is, that drink, another bet laid down. You, you, you steal to meet the ante for that poker game, whatever it is you're starving. There's something that's empty inside. Okay. What we need to do is find something that's going to fill that emptiness inside us. Amen. So let's read our uh, devotional today. Um, it just, it, I don't know, for some reason, this just makes me feel sad because I know that there's quite a few people out there that are empty they're, they're just empty shells and they're starving. They're clamoring for something to fill that need, you know, um, in childhood, maybe, you know, our parents, unfortunately, some of our parents were workaholics, um, from my generation, the sixties, seventies, you know, that just things happen, just things happen. And it causes us to try to fill our voids with different things. And it just makes me sad that a lot of, there's a lot of people out there that can't find fulfillment. And so that's what we need to do 
because we are ambassadors for Christ. We're walking our walk in recovery. We're walking our walk in a Christian-based recovery. And that's where we need to introduce them to Jesus Christ, our reason to have hope. Um, gosh, I don't know how to make it sound so it's not preachy sounding, but we need to tell people that Jesus Christ is there for you to help fill that void. Getting into the scripture, it's so enlightening. It, it's, you know, especially Proverbs, it's very cut and dry, black and white, right and wrong. But Proverbs is encouraging and, and to know that, that there's someone there looking out for us. Amen. Okay. Anyway, life recovery devotional. We are in step nine and it's day 12. And this is called desperate hunger. There are conditions that drive us to our addictions. There's some need inside that makes it worth the risk involved. It deadens us to our own sense of what is right and wrong. We'll do anything to satisfy the hunger of, that our addiction feeds. We wish people could understand that we don't risk everything good in our lives on a whim. We feel like we're starving. But now we're coming to realize that although there are conditions that drive us to our addictions, we must take responsibility for the wrong that we do. We still must take responsibility for the wrongs that we do. King Solomon wrote, must, uh, I'm sorry, King Solomon once wrote, excuses might be found for a thief who steals because he's starving, but if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in the house. And again, that's Proverbs 30 and 31. God understands that there can be some areas of starvation within us that drive us to do wrong. Certainly, once we identify those areas, we will have more compassion for ourselves and from others who understand. But we are, are, but we are still responsible to make amends, even though this may be costly. The cost of making amends will help us face the immediacy of our need to deal with the starvation. Perhaps when we understand the hungers involved, we will be able to find the help that we need to satisfy them. Only when the starvation is satisfied will we be able to remain free from our addictions. In recovery, we learn not to destroy ourselves through unwise actions. So, Where is a need that you feel that needs to be filled? Is there is there something lacking? You know, like I said, in our childhood, a lot of times we develop these, these um, tendencies in our childhoods. And as we grow up, because of things that we're lacking within that time frame, um, sexual addictions, love and relationship addictions. I mean, there's people that can't go without being in a relationship, whether it's healthy or not, because they, they, I guess maybe they fear abandonment. They fear being alone. There's so many reasons why we do what we do. That's why it says that God understands that there can be areas of starvation within us that drive us to do wrong. And so it says, once we identify those areas, we can have more compassion for ourselves and others who may understand what we're going through. So once we identify what our starvation need is, we can take action to fill that with a more healthy um, or more positive uh, substance. Amen. So let's say that substance is scripture. That would be the best thing to fill your life with. It's filled with, with everything you need. It's our GPS. It's our owner's manual. It's, it's everything you need to fill that, that vacancy in your life. Amen. So, Hey, you guys have a great day today. Um, Keep our, our state, California, well, not just California, keep the West Coast in prayer because those fires are still raging. All right, pray for those firefighters, those men and women that are on the front lines fighting those flames to protect homes and property and people. Keep them in prayer. And also today is also the National Day of Encouragement. 
because 19 years ago today we were all in shock with what happened in New York and the Twin Towers and the, the hijackings and everything else. So we need to, it's, it's a day of encouragement. So to those that are disheartened, those who are weakened, when life is dragging you down, be an encouragement for someone. Amen. All right, you guys, God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.